Okay, here we go with the video on Windows Vista tips and tricks. So, if you're new to Windows, maybe you're just coming over from XP or W2K or whatever you're coming over from, hopefully Ubuntu, get rid of that, then you might not be totally familiar with Windows Vista. Now, I am in the Ultimate Edition 32 bit, uh, soon to be 64 bit. I hope I'd like to get 4 gig of RAM in this. This is my Pavilion DV 6809WM notebook PC. But anyhow, to the tips and tricks then. First thing, on laptops, I noticed that a clean install of Vista will not sleep half the time out of the box. And I struggled with this issue for several months. So if you go down to the end of the taskbar, you see your battery icon there. Just click on that, one click, single click, and make sure your power plan is balanced. For me, it doesn't work on high performance, and it doesn't work on power server. It will not sleep. It dims the display or turns off the display, mutes the speakers, and that's it. So you put it on balanced, and I've been fine. Also, your sidebar. If you go over and you right-hand click on it, go to properties, and you see this window here. Uh, I like the box under arrangement. If you check the box, sidebar is always on top of other windows. Then you can see whatever data you have over here when you have windows open, like I'll open a Firefox window here. So I can still see my CPU information, RAM, weather, battery, date, clock, and uh, stocks, which is nice. Then let's get to that annoying user account control that Microsoft tried to put in to make it more secure, which is just a huge pain. You go ahead and hit the start menu, go up and click on your icon, top right. That's going to bring up user accounts and control panel. Then go to turn turn user account control on or off. Go ahead and click that. And then make sure that box is unchecked. Then hit OK. Then punch restart later. And you can go ahead and close that window. Also, I find it nice in Vista. If you right hand click on your background, go to personalize. Then window color and appearance. Make sure you have transparency providing your hardware supports it on it just looks a lot better on and then color intensity I prefer it all the way down so you can see more behind it but just so you know you can mess around with your colors here maybe make it red adjust that intensity here but I always get it as transparent as I can go ahead and hit OK and then I'll apply that and your start menu make it easier to sift through your media controls here, control panel and whatnot, just so you can see what's in there easier. To do that, right hand click somewhere on the start menu in the black part and go to properties. You're going to see, going to see the start menu tab is open. You're going to see this little box here, it has a blue bubble in it, go over to the right and hit customize. And then for computer, display is a menu, control panel display is a menu, and down like documents, display is a menu and go ahead and do that to as many as you wish and then you'll have it come out when you highlight it or click it like mine is. There's my C drive and DVD or W drive D instead of having to click it and opening it like that. Close that. So this is my second YouTube video and thanks a lot for watching.